So this question is a diagram question. Any question on this test that provides some visual input, I'm going to call the diagram question. Obviously, what we specifically have here is a graph. So what do we know about this graph? Well, it looks like I know a couple of points. I have this point right here at 3, 3 that I know. I have this point right here at 1, 7 that I know. And it looks like I have a point here at 9, 1 that I also know. And so when I say that I know, it looks like it goes directly through the grid intersecting lines um, for those points. Everywhere else, I'd have to like pretty much estimate or guess at what the ordered pair was. There's no Y intercept, there's no X intercept. Um, this graph is definitely decreasing. Um, so that's what I know about the graph. So let's move on. So the question says the graph of the rational function F is shown where Y equals F of X and X is greater than or equal to zero. Yep, X is positive. Which of the following is the graph of F of X? I'm sorry, F, the graph of Y equals F of X plus five. So what are we doing? We're taking this y equals f of x, which is this. And we're, so we still have that component, y equals f of x, but we're adding 5, right? So what does that plus 5 do? It actually just shifts the entire graph up 5 units, right? So it's an upward shift, a vertical shift up 5 units. And this is where knowing these points, although I think this answer is pretty obvious, once you know that it shifts up five units. But if it weren't so obvious, looking at the answer choices, it's where knowing these points that I have in red will be helpful, right? Because this point here that was at one comma nine should now be at 114. So when we're at one here, that's not 14. So A is gone. At X is one. I don't see where that crosses, so that's a possibility. For B, when X is 1, it's down here, so that's gone. And for D, when X is 1, I can't see where it is, so that's also a possibility. So C and D are possibilities. And then here, for this next point, this is the point 3, 3, which means once I shift it up 5 units, the X value remains the same, but the Y value will increase by 5, which means I'm looking for the point 3, 8. Right? So that's basically 3, 3, but the y value has gone up 5 units. So 3, 8 is what I'm looking for. So looking at choice C, at 3, it's down here close to 5. So that's not 3, 8, so that's gone. Here at 3, sorry about that, here at 3, we are exactly at 8. So that's why choice D is the correct answer. So just as a little bit of review, um, if you have a value inside parentheses, I'll call it x plus a, and a value outside parentheses, we'll call it plus b. Let's recall, or let's keep in mind, these could be minus signs as well. The value inside parentheses, right? So we're saying we started off with f of x, but now we're adjusting that f of x to have some additional um, values added to it. If the value's inside the parentheses, this will always be a horizontal shift. And it's weird because if the value here is positive, you shift left. But if the value is negative, you shift right. So in the opposite direction that you would anticipate. And then like what we have here in this case, if the value added or subtracted, is not inside the parentheses, it's outside the parentheses, this is where you have your vertical shift, which we just saw an example of with this question. Right, so if that value is positive, you shift up, like what we have here. If that value is negative, you shift down. 